What's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goldline Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today um, it's a little bit more of a somber um, video today. Uh, we're talking about the Philadelphia Flyers and goaltender Ivan Fedotov. Um, if you guys don't know the context of this, uh, I'm going to check right now. The Philadelphia Flyers signed goaltender Ivan Fedotov to a contract May 7th. 2022 so it's been almost a month since he signed with the philadelphia flyers a one-year nine hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar contract he was a 2015 fifth round draft pick by the flyers and uh he's 25 years old he's from st petersburg russia and um we've gotten some really sad news to report now i do want to specify here that we don't know all the details it's just kind of stuff trickling out, and I've been waiting to talk about this, and now you guys are putting it in my comments, and um, and I think this is time to talk about this situation. It's it's There's enough here where I can talk about it, um, and that is from Ronald Wayne, so shout out to you. Um, so this was the first report, and this is from Puck Report NHL, and this is a report from The Athletic. Some of the league, some in league circles worry if some Russian players could have trouble returning to North America later this summer, according to the Athletic. Given Russia's invasion of Ukraine and friction between them and the U.S. slash Canada, the West, for ongoing sanctions, there is worry around the league that players who traveled home to Russia for the off season might not be allowed to return home back to the to the. In North America. Putin's comments in March caused a lot of distress around the NHL when he called Russians living in the West quote unquote scum and traitors. Putin seemed to be complaining about citizens who earn money in the West, then return to Russia with their quote unquote slavish thinking. Although unlikely, nobody knows exactly what will happen with Russian players looking to return to North America in the fall and that is from the athletic um and shout out to puck report nhl on instagram that's where i got that little piece there so yeah this is not good news and that's kind of where this whole thing started and i think this is going to be a chain reaction where i unfortunately don't think ivan fedotov will be the only one here you guys remember a couple of months ago or i think it was last year last summer um there was some questions about Artemi Panarin's family back in Russia. He had to leave the team and was basically, you know, he his family was basically held hostage. And um, and this is not the first time we've seen this stuff. It's very upsetting news. And when I get to the details here, I'm um, just, you know, foregoing. I'm warning you guys, you know, a little, you know, tidbit here. This is kind of tough to hear. So uh, just letting you know ahead of time. So let's start off with this. So this is from NHL Breakers. Uh, Flyers goalie prospect Ivan Fedotov is arrested then hospitalized after a strange in after strange injections in Russia. Philadelphia Flyers goaltender Fedotov was arrested yesterday for alleged evasion of military service in Russia. Today, Ivan Fedotov was hospitalized and does not look good at all after being given injections that were supposedly prescribed by doctors. Ivan's family was not allowed to see him in the hospital. Um, something about Russian military members are both inside and outside of the country, but you do have to, you know, you have to pay your services. Um, this is from Carl Monson. Uh, Flyers goaltender Fedotov was hospitalized after receiving unknown injections. Uh, it was revealed that Fedotov had been hospitalized after the injections, which caused stomach pain and potentially poisoning when he was in the military commissariat of St. Petersburg. Um, and then his lawyer came out and basically said he did not, he was not feeling well. Um, and that's kind of where we're at right at this moment. Um, you know, my stance on this really at the end of the day this is kind of what happens in the real world. In in the utopia world where everybody gets along and everybody's happy and everything goes perfect, we don't have stuff like this. But the reality is that is not the case. And unfortunately, um, for a very young, you know, I, I look at this on a personal level for, for Fedotov, a 25-year-old kid that's been playing in the KHL, 
um, for years and comes to sign to play in North America. You know, probably his dream, really, his goal in his life was to become a player in the best league in, you know, the best hockey league in the world, and that's the National Hockey League. Um, really disappointing news, and obviously this is more about Ivan Fedotov, but for the Flyers' perspective, uh, this kind of sucks too. It sucks for the Flyers because this was the guy they were going to have with Carter Hart next season, and a lot of people were very high on Ivan Fedotov. He's been a top goaltender in the KHL, and people have been very impressed with what he's done over there, and the expectation was he was going to come over here. Um... Again, is there motives for him to all of a sudden decide at 25 he wants to come to the States? Is that because of, you know, he wants to flee the service? I don't know. I can't get in his head. Um, but this is obviously something that, again, it goes beyond hockey. And, you know, it's tough. It's tough news to hear. Again, on a personal level, that is really where, um, you know, I hope he gets to play in the NHL this season. I hope everything works out. Um, but as of right now, you know, obviously, you know, thoughts and prayers and everything are out for Ivan Fedotov and his family. And, um, you know, I hope this is the last time I have to report something like this before the end of the season and hopefully ever. But the reality is that's probably not going to be the case. So, guys, stay tuned for that. Um, thoughts and prayers for all my, you know, all the Russian hockey, all the Russian NHL players out there. Um, you know, it's been a rough year for Russian hockey in general. A lot of those young kids were exempt from the import draft to the Canadian Hockey League. Um, you know, and, and that's obviously a shame. Kind of same thing as Fedotov. Kind of a, a dream kind of ripped right from right out from under them, uh, from things outside of their control. And, um, and it's just heartbreaking. And I know, you know, everybody has that dream of making it to the NHL. And when he signs his contract, he's coming over to North America and this happens. It definitely, it is tough news to hear. So guys, that's it for today's video. Um, you know, obviously leave updates down in the comment section down below um, as we kind of hear more information about this. But obviously, like I said, hope the best for him. I can't even imagine what's going on over there. And um, obviously I send my condolences to some of these Russian players over there. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.